Mesechus Bova Metzia, Daf Chav Gimel Amud Aleph, we are above the middle of the page. Leima Ketanoi. Leima Ketanoi, we learned in the previous Amud, uh, in the uh, beginning of the Amud, we learned about Mechlokes, Rabba, and Rove. Whether or not Simon also the door is Havi Simon or Lo Havi Simon. The question is, do we say that a Simon, you have a mark, let's say you have a small bundle of uh, of wheat or barley of stocks, and that um, item is bundled, is tied with something that has a simon, there is a knot that could be a simon. However, that simon can be easily trampled on, can be stepped all over, because people, when they walk down the street, they'll step on it, and then the knot will fade away, will get untied, unraveled, and will not be a simon anymore. So Rabbi said it's not a simon to begin with. Even if he found it with the simon on it, right from the start, the person is meyash. The person who lost it gave up hope. That's Rabbi. Well, Rabbi says, no, he doesn't give up hope. And Rabbi says, no, really, that is called a simon. It's considered to be a simon. And even though the uh, item may, may fade away, the simon may fade away eventually, but he's not meyash right from the start. The one who lost it and he still wants it and it's his, and you're mechuyav, you're obligated to give it back and announce that you found it. Leima ketanoi. Now the Gemara wants to suggest that mechlokes Rabba and Rava is actually depends on mechlokes tanoim. It's an earlier mechlokes that we saw between the tanoim of our Mishnah. It says in the Mishnah, Rabbi Yehuda Oimel, Kol Dov Hashesh B'Shinui Chayv L'Achiz. The Buddha says if you found something that has something strange in it, some kind of shinui of a strange uh, um, mark in it, you have to announce and return to the owner. Ketzad, how is that? Motza eagle, but let's say you found a, a fig pie, like a pie, like a cake made out of figs. And it's considered, a, usually it's considered to be a standard thing. It's nothing with a semen. However, if you found it with a shard of clay in it, then you are, you do have to return it because that's a very significant semen that inside the, that fig uh, cake, there's a piece of clay that's very different, so it's a simon. Kikar betochemois. Let's say there's a loaf of bread, and in the loaf of bread you have money, you have coins inside. You have to give back. Makes sense. However, michlal. That is to say, that's Rabbi's opinion. That is to say, the Tanakama sova ha'elu shaloi. That is to say, Tanakama does not share the same opinion with Rabbi Yuda, and he would say ha'elu shaloi that it belongs to the one who found it, to the finder. Meaning that from some reason those very seemingly good simanim are not good enough for Chachomim, for Tanakama, they believe you don't have to return it. Why? What's really the source of the Mechlekes between Tanakama and Rabbi Yudha? Savua. Originally, they wanted to say, the one who posed the, the question, the suggestion, thinks as follows, the Kula Alma, both Tanakama and Rabbi Yudha believed, Simon Habame Elav Avi Simon. Although that simon, which is something that came automatically, potentially, a simon of coins that are that, 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 that are inside the bread are not necessarily something that the person put on purpose. Could be he was kneading the dough, and as he was kneading from his front pocket, the money fell into the into the dough, and he didn't notice it. The same thing, the shard, the piece of, of clay fell into the figs without him noticing. So maybe that's the reason why it's not a simon. But right now the Gemara wants to say no. Let's assume everybody believes that a simon habomeila, a simon that is came about potentially accidentally, maybe accidentally, is still called a good simon. And let's also assume, as we spoke about last time, everybody believes that if you see a piece of bread on the floor, you do not have to pick it up. People tend to leave the bread or the other foods on the floor, and therefore it's also the dollars. That mark that you have there on the bread may really be stepped on and people may step on it and you will be also the dollars. It will be stepped on. My love. So what's the machlokis between Tanakama that says it's not a good simon and a beauty that says a good simon? There we are. The simon also the dollars come Sounds like the bone of contention is simon also the dollars. That's the point of argument here. Whether a semen which is likely to be stepped all over is it a good semen or not? Mouse of Allah have a semen. Tanakama believes it's not a good semen, and that's like Rabba. Mouse of Allah have a semen. And then Rabbi Yudha believes it's a semen. 
and that it's a good simon, even though it may be trampled on, it may be stepped all over, it's still considered a good simon. Therefore, Rova seems to be following Rabbi Yuda. So this is not so good, because usually a Meroi would not repeat a Mechalot Yistanoi, right? It's a repetition. They don't have to reinvent the wheel. And also, Raba is also supported by the mute, by the minority, which is Rabbi Yuda. So that's not good. Rav Zvid is coming to defend Rava and answers as follows. If you want to tell me that Tanakama's reasoning is Simon if you want to tell me that according to Tanakama, Tanakama is against Rava, Rav Zvid coming to defend Rava, if you want to tell me that the Simon that may be stepped on is not called a good Simon, and really people tend to trample over the food, to step on the food, and and yet, according to Tanakama, it's not a good siman. If so, how would you explain the following? Remember, there was an ayin to mention later in the Mishnah. If you have a homemade piece of bread, loaf of bread, which is homemade, we said that you do have to announce, because each balabais, each lady, each man, for their own homemade bread, their own boutique bread, they, made it, they make it differently. Why? Why do you have to announce? At the end of the day, it will be stepped on. If you're telling me that any piece of bread with a simon, people step all over, and simon also the dores is not a good simon because they'll step on it. If so, why is it that when the bread looks different, very soon it will not look different because people will step on it and all the special, I don't know, sesame seeds or whatever the lady put there will not look the same anymore. Therefore, Rav Zvid, on behalf of Rav, is forcing to learn the Mishnah differently. Everybody believes Really, everybody thinks like Rove, that Simon that's likely to be stepped on is a good Simon. Yeah, as long as people didn't step all over, they can recognize it. The person, the owner, the one who lost, did not give up hope. And it's true, the people may trample over the food, but so what? Lamaisa people don't give up hope because. Although you may be stepped on, the person did not lose, uh, did not give up hope. I so why? And therefore, by regular bread, homemade bread, you do have to return it. The homemade bread, because the simon, as long as it's there, people believe, the one who lost it believes they'll still find it. I what about the bread with the coins inside, that strange thing, or the fig pie with a, sh with a shard inside? The simon abome ale of kamiflagi. That's the point of machloikis. A simon that came in to the item, possibly accidentally, that's the point here, that's the bone of contention. The Tanakama so vow, Simon Abom Elof, Loi Havi Simon. Tanakama believes that a Simon that came by itself, and possibly if the person says Tosfos, over here, the last Tosfos uh, in the page says, the person may, he may have fallen into the dough without him knowing. And it's covered now by, by the dough, by the outside, so he doesn't even know. That's why it's not a Simon. The if it says it's a simon, very good. So says Rav, leave me out of the mechlekes. The mechlekes has nothing to do with also lidoris. The mechlekes is just about whether a simon that may be a mistaken simon, so to speak, an accidental simon, is it good or not good? That's mechlekes, nothing to do with also lidoris. The Rabbi Omar, Rabbi now has to defend his own standing. Rabbi says what? Rabbi Omar lechod, the kul almi simon, also lidoris, lo yavi simon. Rabbi says, everybody thinks like me. That... Both Tanoim believe, like me, that Simon also the Doris is not a good Simon. I, if so, how come you give back the bread which is individually made by each Balabai? How do you give that back? I'll tell you why. Ah, because people don't step over the bread. It's true that if you step over food, you don't return it. But on bread, you don't step all over. In other words, the the what's the names? The the sheaves, the, the wheat and barley is not ready to eat the food. It's, it's raw food, and therefore that people do step over, or at least don't pick it up. Shake and bread, people don't step over the bread. And therefore, everyone agrees that when it comes to homemade bread itself, nobody steps on that. The aha, you know the question is regarding the bread with the coins inside? The same as Rava. The simon also, the argue regarding simon abome elov, simon that comes by itself, then the simon, then the says an accidental simon is not a simon, Rabbi Dasava have a simon. Rabbi Yudha says it is a simon because we're not sure it's accidental. Maybe he, maybe he placed the coins inside. Basically, both Rabbi and Rabbi say that Mechlokes Tanoim have nothing to do with their Mechlokes. They stay out of the line of fire. The Mechlokes between the common Rabbi Yudha is about simon ha'ol ha'ba me'elov. 
a simon that is possibly potentially automatic and wasn't placed there on purpose. When it comes to simon osilidolis, Rabba and Rova each stick to their own opinion. Ikadamri, some say the same mechlokas from a different angle. Savua de kul alma simon abome elov havi simon. This is obviously good with Rove. Rove is now supported by the Ikadamri. Everybody, meaning both the Nakam and Rabbiuda, believe that the simon that Abame Elov is a good simon. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me, this is Rabba now talking. Excuse me, this is Rabba. The simon also does loy have a simon. Sorry, this is Rabba that says simon also does is not a good simon. My love. So, what is the machloikis? Machloikis is not about the automatic simon, it's about the halacha of the mavir and the and tamiflegi. Machloikis is whether or not people are allowed to or tend to. Step all over food, yes or no? The mouse of our ma'avirin. The Nakama says, because people step over the food, mimela, it's a simen ha'osilidores. Everybody believes me, says Rabbi, the simen ha'osilidores is really an issue. Yes, it's an issue. However, that's exactly the question. Mouse of the Nakama says that people step over the bread. Because they step over the bread, then it's called osilidores. It becomes also the dollars because people just tend to step all over it or not be careful enough. And that we all agree, says Rabba, is not a good simon. The other opinion, which is Rabbi that says no, because en that's not also the dollars. Yeah, en you, you, you don't step over the food, you keep it on the side, therefore it's a good simon, says Rabbi So the bread. You put it in the corner, you put it on the side, and you give it back to the to the to the one who lost it. Now comes of Zvid and says otherwise, because this is obviously not good with Rova. This was a support for Rabba. What would Rova say? He says, No, 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 that's not true. If you want to tell me that the Nakama believes that something which is which will be trampled on is not a simon, and people surely do trample over food, Mavirin. if so, you have a glaring big question here, it's the same as before. How do you explain that the regular bread, not the one with the coins inside, or the shard, or the crazy things inside, regular bread, homemade bread, which is different from family to family, why do you have to announce? Because people step all over them, and you believe Rabbah, my opponent, which says what? That, that it's not a good semen. So how come this is a good semen? How come Tanakama say? How come Tanakama says that it's a good semen? Yeah, the, the, the homemade bread. Homemade bread also is also the dollars, maybe stepped all over. Therefore, of Zvid, again, quoting Rav, explaining Rav, says as follows. Everybody believes what I said, that conceptually, a simon which may be stepped on is a good simon. And people unfortunately tend to, it's not exactly logically also to go by. By the way, the Rishonim say Mavirin al doesn't mean you're allowed to step on the bread. It means you may, you may walk near the bread without picking it up if you find it on the floor. And then an animal can come or something else can come and, you know, just it will happen that the bread will not stay the same. So, therefore, what? Simon also does have a simon. A simon also does is a good simon. Ma'avirin ala oichlin, which means what? People do. Ma'avirin ala oichlin, they may step on it. So what if they step on it? So what? Simon also does is a good simon. Even if people may step on it, I still believe in human nature, and I believe that they still, the person is not miyash, and he hopes it will get back to him, says Rova. And therefore, the bread which is homemade, that bread enachinami should be returned to the owner. That answers the question. The ah, yeah, talking about the particular machlokis regarding bread with coins inside. Ah, simon abam elav kamiflagi, as we said before. That bread has its own weird thing. It's a simon which came by itself accidentally. It's not necessarily a simon which was intentionally placed inside. That's a different kettle of fish. The Tanakama saw out, and the Kama thinks simon abam elav loy have a simon. The Tanakama believes that simon is not a good simon. Says it's a good simon. Nah, the entire story, the entire Mishnah back to Rabba's court, he says exactly the same, but in an opposite angle. The Kula al Masimon also the Doris, Loy Havisim. Rabba says, everybody believes, like me, that a simon which, which may be stepped all over is not a good simon. 
Rabbah always is forced to say, in order to learn our Mishnah, that people don't step over food. Because if they do step on it, you don't, you never return food. So the reason why you do return the regular bread, the homemade bread of each balabasta, which is different, you know why you return it? Although semen, which is trampled, is not a semen, bread is not trampled. Bread people don't walk all over. That's always Rabbah's reasoning. Rabbah is, Rabbah is forced to say that you don't let food lie on the floor. In this point, is like Rabbe, the point of Machloikas between Tanakama and Rabbiuda is that semen which is possibly automatic. Tanakama says a semen of Bamei Lavavi semen. Tanakama says a semen which happens possibly accidentally is not a good semen. Rabbiuda says a semen. Rabbiuda says it's a semen. From here, by the way, I saw Rabbi Yashiv says that when you talk about picking up food, of not uh, of not letting food lie on the floor when you when you walk down the street, it applies not only to bread. We see it also applies to the fig pie. Yeah, it applies also to the fig cake, which is not bread, but it does not apply to raw food. You see, when it comes to chitim, when it comes to, let's say, cereal, grains, it doesn't apply to that. So that's interesting. Okay, the Morgan of Rome does bring down the aloha of not letting food lie on the floor. Amar Zvid Mishmed Robin. Rav Zvid says on behalf of Robin, Klala Davedata, oh, let's say something that summarizes what is the great rule regarding a Veda, which means at what point which point in time can you know that the person already gave up hope was Miyayish, and then you, as the finder, you can take it? When is that? Came in the Omar, Vaila Lecheson Kis. Once you hear the person, you have Adim to Adim who heard the person, the one who lost, they hear him saying, Woe to me, Lecheson Kis. Oh, I lost the money. I lost it. Oh, oh, oh. Miyayish lo mino. We know that he's already Miyayish. So I pointed out in Shear, why, what's the Chiddush over here? Well, obviously, if the person said he's Me'ayish, then he's Me'ayish, and you can take it. What's the Chiddush? So I saw the Ma'arik. There is one of the Rishon, is Chuvas Ma'arik. I think it's a Rishon on an early Kadmon. He brings down a very interesting story about Jews that lent money to uh, some wicked ruler, and he obviously did not return the loan, as he promised. And then his wife, the Almono, the, the Duchess, Dukasit, she was nice to them and she did return them the loan. There's all machlokis between the Jews about it. Says the Ma'arik, when it comes to returning a loan, if you uh, lent money to someone who you believe is a decent person, is not that Goy Rosho, you lent it to another Goy, you may be a decent guy, and it's Muchzak, he'll give it back. And he took his time, and at some point you say, ah, I gave up on the money. Then we say that he did not give up on the money. Why? Because that, unless it's that, you know, vicious ruler, if it's a regular guy who may give back the money, you know where he lives. There is a star. There is a legal system. Even if you said, oh, I lost it, you're just being a bit bitter. You're misupak. You're not sure. You're not for sure losing hope. As opposed to our Gemara that says, listen to the words, de the rule is when you lost an object, it's lost. You have no idea where it is whatsoever. Ever happened to you? You look all over, all over, all over, all over for the, I don't know, credit card. Under the the, uh, the car and inside the pillow and in the fridge and inside the chicken. You just can't find it anywhere. At some point, you have no idea what uh, what, what, what what went on with it. That is called Yush when you say by Leches from Kis. It's opposed to a debt. That's a Chiddush. Roma of Zvid Mishmed Rove says of Zvid on behalf of Rove, Hilchasa. We had two machlokes in between Rabbah and Rova regarding Simon. So let's see who the halacha like. Well, Rova obviously passes like himself. And he says, Yilchesa, Krichus Bershus Arabim, small bundles in Rashus Arabim, which may be stepped all over and do not have a Simon, as we're going to see soon. Krichus Bershus Arabim with no Simon, Harei Lushaloi. He found bundles in the street with no Simon. They're very boring, regular, run of the mill knot. Regular not regular, you know, tied like that. It's yours because there is no simon. However, oh, if you remember, the second is about was about location. If a person can recognize the location of where he lost the object or forgot the object, then it may be a simon according to Rava. And that's what he says over here. If the item, let's say the bundles, were all sloppy. It looked as if they fell from the person. He did not position them there. He did not place them there. Then belongs to the finder. Because location is only a simon. When he placed it in the location, remembers the location. If it just fell in a sloppy way and you ran away or something and it completely was unaware of it, then location is not a simon because he didn't know when they fell. So he didn't know where they fell. 
However, if it's located in a place which is quiet, like a quiet park, or which people barely go into, or a field of a person, people don't step over, they don't move things around. In the Shus Arabim, location is not a simon because people just kick it about without noticing. In a quiet place, they don't kick it around. And therefore, if it's placed and look like it was placed there nicely on the third bench from the left-hand side of the olive tree, that's a simon. And the person may return it to buy, and the simon would be the location. Zev is there, both cases, but double she and simon. As we said, that applies to something that has no simon, doesn't have any special knot. Avel but double shesh simon. Let the same bundle of wheat or barley, they have a specific simon, some kind of plastic bag with an interesting inscription or some kind of, you know, weird kind of knot. Whether in a public place or in a private place, whether it fell or was located, he always has to return. Why? Because Rava obviously follows his own reasoning that simon also lidoes a simon which is likely to uh, be trampled on is still something that you have to return because he believes that a person is not in the eye straight away if he lost something that has no, that the simon is there but maybe trampled on. Okay, says the next um, Gemara, piece of Gemara, Machroizus shall dog him. Machroizus shall dog him. Frag the Gemara, what did we say about Machroizus shall dog him? These are fish. There are fish that are raw, I assume. They, 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 were, they were hunted, they were fished out of the sea, and they're all tied together in a string. And you don't have to return it. Why don't you have to return it? Why can't the knot itself be a simon? The, the interesting way of tying, each one ties differently. Maybe that's a simon, so it's not miyash, to return it. And so the Gemara Bekatra decide the... We're talking here in the fisherman's knot. It's a standard fisherman's knot. Most people tie it that way. The kula al mekatri. Everybody is makater. Everybody ties it that way. In other words, enachinami. If the simon, if the kesha would have been unique and different, maybe, maybe it would be a simon. We can't prove it from the Mishnah. The Mishnah may have been speaking about a very regular run-of-the-mill standard knot, which is not a simon. Why don't we say that the, the number is a simon? Yeah, let's say one guy can say, I lost seven, a string with seven fish, and the other one with 17. And says, We're talking here about a minion, which is shovin. The minion, in other words, the number is a standard number of all fish. Most fishermen, most of them, they all have, the Ben Hanal says 10. Let's say the, the, the norm is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Each one has 10 fish on the on the string. That's not a semen. Now comes the question to Rav Sheshis. Meaning, have a simon alloy. So far, we didn't figure it out. We tried to learn it from the Mishnah, but we failed. So now they ask a new question of Sheshes. No. Is meaning, is the number considered the simon or not? Allah have a simon. Do we say that if somebody lost a certain amount of, uh, I don't know, any, any item, and the number, can the number, if the number is different to all other numbers, can that be a simon? Can that be enough of a, of a sign, of an identification mark? From Allah of Sheshes, Nisua. Look, I can show you from the following Brisa. Motor clay kesef Somebody found clay kesef clay nechoshes items made out of silver or copper. Some say just pieces of silver and copper. Yistron shalaval broken kalim, broken vessels made out of of a vow, which is also like brass or or nechoshes or, or copper. The chol clay matchos, all types of metal uh, dishes vessels. Don't give them back. Don't give back the, the, that raw piece or half broken kli. It's not a regular kli that you have a simon. Achi an ois, either it gives a good simon, a mark, or the weight. In other words, let's say the person says, yeah, I lost a few pieces of raw gold, pieces of gold, like nuggets of gold, which let's say can't, don't have a number of them, not recognized. But you say the exact weight, you can tell the weight, that's a simon. If you know how, if you know how much it weighs, we know that you're the owner. If the weight is a simon, the mida, which is the size, the length, the width, the number are also a simon. If the number is different to all other numbers or the mida, you can tell the exact uh, measurement, it's also a simon. We learned twice this year. Uh, 
Tosis over here says that here we say that Mishkal is not as good as Midominion. The Shekin, when it comes to clothes, Tosis brings down the second Tosis over here brings down that um, that the when it comes to garments, yeah, let's say two people claim that the garment is there. I found a garment, two people come, Reuben and Shimon. Reuben tells me how much the garment weighs. The other one tells me the size of the garment. The one who says the weight is the owner. Because to know the weight about, about textile, about, uh, about clothes, is much less common. He really knows the stuff. The measurement is something you may guess. And that's why, yeah, in that case, by garments, then the weight is a better semen than the, than the meter, than the size. Here we talk about food, which is actually very common to weigh. So to know the weight is not such a big, is not such a big deal. Mishkal, midominion are all the same level. Now we said pieces of meat, that is not something you return. Take, take it to yourself. Pieces of meat are standard. There is no simon in it. Why is that? Let mishkal is simon. Maybe the weight is a simon, as we just said. Weight is a simon. Answer the Gemara. No, the mishkal of the shovin. We're talking about very standard weight. We all know that that piece of meat is always sold a one and a half kilo. So to say one and a half kilo is not a simon. Mashma that if the weight is different, it's a kilo seven hundred and fifty. That would be a simon. the Gemara simon. Why? Why can't we say that the actual cutlet, which cutlet of meat is it? Why can that alone be a simon? Meaning or the dafka or the atma. Let's say it's a big piece of meat. Either it comes from the dafka from the um, neck or the atma from the pulki, from the thigh. Why don't you say that that's considered a simon? The, the type of meat, the, the, the type of chaticha, like today we, we go by number, number five, number 10, maybe that would be a simon. Mila Tanya didn't learn in the Braisa to support the question. Motza chaticha is dogim. A person found pieces of fish, meaning the piece of fish in the head, the tail, you can recognize which piece of fish it is from which body part of the fish. A dog noshuch, a dog that was bitten, a piece of fish that was already bitten, let's say a child ate a piece of fish and then threw it away and you look for it. Chayv la'achris, you have to announce. Oh, so you see the pieces of fish, you do have to announce. The Gemara now assumes that the only symbol of the piece of fish is either the head or the tail or next to the fins or something like that, or the innards. That alone is a simon. So why don't you say the same about meat? What's the difference between fish and meat? And continues the Braisa, Chabiel shel yain, shel shemen, shel tvur, shel dvor, shel zesim, arei lo shaloi. If you found barrels of wine, oil, grains, uh, figs, and uh, zesim, and uh, what's the name, the uh, olives, they're all yours, there is no simon there, as we'll see in the later shear. So you see that a piece is a simon. No, 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 no. Hochbe ma'eskinan, bedika simon bepaska. When we said a piece of fish is a simon, it's not just to tell, you can't just say, the head is a simon or the tail is a simon. Many people eat the head and the tail, which I said Rosh Hashanah. We're talking here about a person who cut his fish, fish in a very specific way, like triangle shaped or in like a star shape. There's a specific way of cutting, then it's a simon. But just to say I lost the pulki or I lost the neck, that alone is not enough. Cam comes more to prove. Kihod Rabba Baravuna. Rabbi Baravuna had the custom of mechatichle at so because he, Rabbi Baravuna, you see, he when he would send meat to his wife with a goy, so that's a concern of Botosh and Salmin Ain, he would cut it triangle shaped, and that's what we mean over here. We're not talking about kashrus; we're talking about the Vedas. But we say if you found a piece that has some kind of strange, different way of cutting, that's a semen. Not just if you say, uh, I lost the pulka, that's not enough. Dai kanami, and I'll prove it to you. The ktani, it says in the Braisa, do me the diagnosis, shma mino. We see that the, 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 I, the, the term, chaticho shel dogim, is mentioned right next to a piece that was bitten. A bitten piece is a very, very interesting, different simon, not stump piece. You see, you know, the teeth mark in the meat oh, or in the fish. That's really different. And right next to that, we said chatichas shel dogim. So chatichas shel dogim doesn't just mean standard cutlets. It means they were cut in a strange, interesting way. Then, and only then, it's a simon. Okay. Oh, fine. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.